your managers may not teach you. Wow. You may be thinking, yes, you may be thinking what the managers may not teach us. Not everyone are lucky like you and me. We have got some finest managers and some finest leaders whom we work and they all mentored us. There, is out there, there are bartenders out there. There are so many people out there who are striving every single day, who are hustling every single day, uh, chasing behind those numbers. They are running behind those inventories. They are running behind those drunk guests who did not pay their bills. They invented shortage and stuff like that. They are so busy out there. And yes, they did forget to sharpen their skills. Guru, but I call myself Guru the student as life is all about to learn new things and to shape those new things what you have learned with the community you belong. Yes, I also have a small humble background like you guys, uh, a small intro for the people who doesn't uh, know me, you can get a bar back to bartender, head bartender. I started my career as a freelance bartender uh, doing all the ODCs, uh, events and stuff. Then I slowly started, you know, I, I want to get in more into serious bartending. I want to be a classic bartender. Then I joined the team in Lalita Shok. Then I moved to Leela Palace, Bangalore. Then I came to Dubai in the year 10, 10, 10. Uh, worked with uh, uh, one, of, one and only team, 101 for the pre-opening. It was a beautiful, beautiful, passionate team. And during it, I was been promoted as uh, the bar in charge, the beverage in charge of that. It was a beautiful uh, responsibility, which, which, uh, the team had trusted in me and also awarded the employee of the year for uh, one and only resort. I said, you know what, I, I was more thirsty. I got even more thirsty. I got even more hungry for the knowledge and for the uh, industry. And I wanted to learn more. <clears throat> and I joined uh, one of the uh, beverage legends, I can tell you, the bar legends who has put Dubai bartending in the global map uh, uh, in Madinat Jumeirah under his shadow. I learned a lot. Uh, I attended so many training programs. I was blessed to be a part of so many training programs, competitions and stuff. And also I was been awarded as Bartender of the Year by uh, Caterer Awards 2013 uh, Middle East. And did I stop there? No, I did not. I was having a dream to, to build a bar from the scratch, to create a cocktail menu of my own. Uh, it, was, it was a dream. It will be a dream for many of the bartenders out there. And yes, it was a dream come true when I got an opportunity by Brigade Hospitality, which is which is one of the uh, owners of many uh, hotel chains in India, Sheraton, the Grand Marquis, and many more Hilton's and stuff. Uh, I started working with them to create a crown jewel for uh, their brigade hospitality and to build a beautiful, beautiful cocktail bar, uh, an iconic cocktail bar. I, can, I want to tell, I want to proudly tell that it was a beautiful team with uh, led by Pravesh Pandey, the head of this team as director of bar operations. Uh, uh, now uh, Sheraton. Uh, it was, it was just a dream come true to put so much of passion, there's so much of uh, energy in there, so beautiful positive vibes. I have to tell you this, it is it is one of my dream team which I worked with. And also I got an opportunity to be a part of uh, India's first bartending reality show hosted by MTV. That was an eye-opener for me. Did I stop there? No, I did not. I even started competing. I even started talking about the Bangalore cocktail culture around the world and I want to take it to the international stage. And then I competed in Cherry Hearing Cocktail Competition and I got shortlisted uh, best 12 in the world and I stood number 6. And I got an opportunity to go to Singapore, be a part of the team, shake and stir some beautiful singers, Singapore slings, behind the Longs Bar, the most iconic bar which I always dreamt. When I was a bartender, like I used to read the history of the Singapore Slings, where it was invented, how it was invented and all. It was it was a blessing for me to be there in that particular bar. The, it was a life-changing experience for sure. Uh, rewarded and recognized as Bartender of the Year by Times this time, 2015. Uh, did I stop there? No. I came back to you guys as Johnny Oakland Brand Ambassador. I joined the team of Path Bar School. I have to tell you, one of the most beautiful and amazing team loads of positive vibes. This, this team is one of my favorite. As you already know me, what I am today, I call myself the barback of Dubai, <laughs> assisting you guys to create the platform. There is a saying here in Path Bar School, uh, you have the passion, we have the stage to perform. And uh, yes, as I'm talking to you guys about the passion, I was been awarded uh, as uh, the passionate award by our company, by our CEO uh, and the team over here in uh, African and Eastern for the year 2017 and 18. It was a uh, blessed uh, ceremony, I can say. It was, it was a reward and recognition by the team, Path Bar School and uh, uh, African and Eastern. 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and brothers and sisters of our industry, there is a saying as it goes, what you are today is what you prepared yesterday and what you want to be tomorrow. Today is the day, my friend. Today is the day. Start brushing your skills. Start sharpening your skills. Yes, why am I talking to you guys about? Not too late for all of us. We learn power of numbers. What we learn is what we learn. Phenology by Park Bar School. The team is led by Brent Henderson, our finest leaders. The journey is about to begin. The journey of numbers. The journey of those magical numbers behind your cocktails, behind your mixology is about to begin. Grab your pen and your books. Let's start this beautiful journey and keep walking ahead. Yes, we are speaking about the series of phenology episodes, the episode number one. As I talk to you guys, what you will earn at the end of this episode is what is what are the importance of numbers? Why is it so important for us to understand these magical numbers beyond the mixology? What is this menu engineering all about? What are the four pillars of menu engineering? What is the beverage cost? How do you calculate the itemized cost? How do you calculate the overall beverage cost? How do you calculate and understand those numbers, these hidden numbers beyond your mixology? Understanding is very, very important and essential at the end of this program. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in the industry, you are going to be equipped with these magical numbers of mixology. Take your pen. Take your paper, get ready. The show is about to begin. As I was talking to you guys about the show is about to begin, yes, there was a show uh, which I had witnessed when I was a bartender, when I was a passionate bartender, I never thought uh, normal. You know, I was thinking as if I am an astronaut now. You know, I want to innovate something big. I want to do some infusions with uh, some of the most expensive whiskies, with some of the most expensive spices and some herbs and, and uh, you know, uh, some salmon infused Johnny of a black label or a gold label to make an old fashion or something like this. You know, it was, it was, uh, it was having, I was having so many, so many crazy ideas. But this guy, I was always having some challenges uh, with somebody who was always behind me. Why are you doing it? That guy was always stopping me to ask me, why are you doing it? Why should you do it? I mean, wait a minute. Yes, that one guy who was stopping me for doing what I was doing the best and for being more passionate in it wanting to dream something big and to put some sort of the crazy ingredients is none other than this legend over here, the cost controller. This gentleman was always behind me to un stop me to understand, to make me understand, but I was never understanding because his way of uh, speaking was not getting into my head. Maybe this is a situation for many bartending uh, brothers and sisters out there. You are also will be facing the same challenges, I guess, but I'm telling you guys, right? I did not stop there. I wanted to know the answer. I was hungry to know the answer. And I said, I wonder what I wanted to get the answers. And I went to my boss. I said, boss, I'm passionate. I want to strive. Come with these beautiful ideas. In the world of progression, I want to invent, innovate, to understand why is this fight between our operations team and the finance team every single month with this uh, inventory variance. Asking me what to do, what not to do. Why is this guy hustling me? Why is this guy pushing me in the corner and, and uh, uh, cautioning me all these cautions? You know what he did? I'm very thankful to that boss. He asked me to go to his cabin, you know, go and wait, wait for him in the cabin. He came with a beautiful, beautiful thought process. He came with a thought process and I'm very thankful for him. And to make me understand, he took me to his cabin, he gave me an opportunity to understand why the numbers are so important. For us, partners, not just the numbers, just measuring those jewels and making those fancy and beautiful, fantastic cocktails, but he gave me this fake currency note. He asked me to tear this fake currency note into five. I did it. And he started explaining me this currency note is nothing but the revenue what you have generated 
She told 29% all of it in different from institution to institution in Bangalore. On average, there is about 29% of the revenues for the revenue cost. 31% of the total revenue goes into labor cost and manpower. And he said 11% of it is in the fixed cost. And 20% of it is a non fixed cost. What remains are 100 is 9%. Only 9% of the total revenue is going to go as a profit. It may differ from institution to institution. Once I understood that only cost which we can control is food and beverage cost, it was a big, big eye opener for me. Yes, as I'm speaking to you all about understanding those magical numbers beyond your mixology as i'm speaking to you the hidden numbers of those high walls i'm telling you guys after you finish the series of phenology i'm telling you once you finish the series of phenology your view at the end of this four episodes at the end of this four episodes which we are going to come uh, you know cover one after the other i'm telling you your view towards your cocktail menu your view towards your cocktails or your approach to your ingredients may change. I'm telling you again, there are many successful bartenders out there. There are so many people who are working really, really hard. And I'm telling you again, those days are going to come wherein it is going to be a crazy, crazy moment when all those people, those hungry and thirsty people are going to be uh, running towards your bar, which I wish it is going to be happening. Definitely, yes, I wish, I pray God that is, it should be happening with, with all our bars who should be filled with those beautiful and beverage enthusiasts who admire our cocktail, who appreciate our car drinks and stuff. But before that, I'm telling you, you got to build your fort, you got to build your castle and you got to get up and get ready stronger. This is going to be helping you to approach, this is going to be helping you to have a scientific approach. How do you get ready? For your next journey, this is a time we got to strive hard. We got to sharpen our skills right here, right now. At the four, at the end of this four uh, episodes, your view will be changed. I'm telling you, your view will be changed. But I'm going to take you through a very simple path of learning. Don't worry. I'm going to take you through a very simple path of learning. Of course, yes, with a team of Pat Bar School, African Eastern, they are encouraging all those brands. No brands associated over here, guys. We are here in front of you talking to you purely to make you understand what are the strengths of numbers. Those magical numbers behind your cocktail. There is no brand, there is no brand infusion over here into your heads. No, we'll keep it all aside. We'll talk purely about knowledge for you guys to now. Now it is only you and me are here with these numbers, what they create those magics. How do we create those magics? Yes, let's go ahead. Start understanding what is this menu in your I'm going to help you to understand design. At the end of this program, I told you, you'll be able to approach your approach for designing your cocktail menu will be changed. Your approach for listing your cocktail menu, menu may be changing. And also, how do you price it? How do you locate it? Where do you place it? Why do you place it? And why do you number it? And how do you divide it? We are going to talk about everything in the series of phenology and magical numbers beyond your mixology. We're going to talk about this. Yes, here we come. I am going to ask you this question. How many restaurants and bars out there do you think they perform their menu engineering? I've been hearing this question from many of those bartenders out there who ask the same question again and again to all those legends of our industry. How many times do you change your cocktail menu? How do you change your cocktail menu? But I want to ask you this. How many of you have performed the menu engineering with a systematic approach? Yes, it is a boring job. Yes, it is a very, very difficult job. I understand it is a very time-consuming job. Let me put you some reality over here, right? The estimated percentage of restaurants that perform in engineering with high-quality efforts are only 10%. Believe it or not. It's only 10%. And 30% of them do hire any of the finance experts, do re rely on the finance department to do their costing and many engineering. 
for them. Do you think that all those finance guys do know those all small little ingredients or your hidden secrets what you're going to put in your drinks? No, they don't. And 60% of them are too busy. But only 10% of them who have a systematical approach for their cocktail menus or their beverage menus. Menu engineering is not a small little trick. I understand it is a big effort. So if you do a joint effort, you can bring in some magical, magical revenue chains. You can bring in those magical numbers onto those PL accounts. You can do some wonders out there, guys. Yes, you can do some wonders. What is menu engineering, by the way? Yes, I've been speaking about to you guys. Why is it so important? Why there are so many less people are doing it? But what is money engineering? It is an art and science of maximizing the profits through design and item placement on the menu. That's very, very simple, right? It is an art and science. We are bartenders. Bartenders are, we are artists. We create art. We create those beautiful, fancy drinks and amazing wow effect around those. We create those theater and we create the experience and it is an art. But there is a systematic approach for maximizing the profit through design and item placement on the menu. Why, how, and what? When I speak, when I speak about the cocktail journey, when you take or talk about cocktail journey to any of any of your guests, any of your beverage enthusiasts, yes, they do admire your efforts behind those critical small attention to detail what goes into your drink and stuff but at the end of the day if you don't make profit out of it at the end of the day the guest is not going to get the drink on time your efforts will go waste my friend for understanding that this better with the systematic approach let's understand these four pillars of many engineering the four pillars of many engineering one is the cost of your beverage club cost your beverage menu second Classify your cocktail. When I talk about cost your beverage menu, we will not talk about how do you cost every single cocktail. We want to talk about how do you calculate the profit percentage. When you want to know the profit percentage, you want to know cost percentage. And also we are going to talk about the cost percentage of your overall beverage menu, which is called as beverage cost. How do you calculate it every single month? We will talk about it. And when I talk about classify your cocktail, when I talk about classifying your cocktail, this is is very, very, it is going to get intense over here, guys, right? At the end of this, this program, you will be able to classify which are the horses, which are the stars of your menu, which are the puzzles of your menu, which are your dogs of your menu. Yes, the horses, the stars, and the puzzles, and the dogs, we're going to understand what are those actually. And when I talk about design your menu, when we talk about designing your menu, the third pillar of this menu engineering is designing your menu. We speak about this designing, right? What is this designing all about? What is the designing all about? We talk about how do you highlight it? Where do you price the pricings? How do you, how the menu is classified? What is a systematic approach of a customer? What is a psychological approach of a customer when he reads the, he reads your cocktail menu? And also, for and very very important thing, right? When I was talking to uh, Jack McGregor, who is a legend of one of the beautiful bars out there in called Bed Brother, which is in New York, he told us beautiful beautiful thing. He was stressing himself, and he is repeatedly telling and telling us how important it is to test your cocktail menu and to test your knowledge and to train your team. We're going to talk about that also on the fourth pillar. It is also very important for us to understand how do we come across this. Yes, when we talk about cost your beverage menu, there are two systematical approaches. One is to cost your cocktail. Not only cocktail, cost every single item on your cocktail menu, on your beverage menu, whether it be beer, whether it be a glass of wine, or a, a glass of champagne, or a glass of, uh, you know, a mocktail, or a glass of juice, or a lemonade experience, so on. It doesn't matter, cost every single item. You don't understand how do we calculate that. And second thing is, calculate your beverage cost. We're going to talk about how do we calculate the item, every single item on your beverage menu. And also, we're going to talk about how do we calculate overall beverage costs? 
minutes. How do you calculate those beautiful numbers? How do you calculate those cost of every single item? Let's take an example here. Right? What is this formula? This is not a nuclear science, guys. It's simple as you make a Johnny High ball. Fill the glass with a lot of ice cubes. Pour two shots of Johnny of black label. Pour the ginger ale on top. Garnish with your orange wedge. It's as simple as that. Guys, let me tell you the cost percentage of any item. It's a cost price divided by selling price multiplied by 100. That is your cost percentage. Clear? No, not it? Okay, let's take an example here. Let's take an example of Argentopinum Grigia, right? I want to sell this. I want to know the selling price of this Argentopinum Grigia. I want to know the beverage cost of this Argentopinum Grigia. And just assume that the cost price of this Argentopinum Grigia is 60 AED, right? I want to sell it at 250 bucks. I want to sell it as 250 dirhams, and my beverage cost of that particular item would be 34 percent. Simple? Yes, it is as simple as it is, right? The cost price divided by selling price multiplied 100 is your cost percentage of your particular product, which is object of the ratio over here. Yes? I know, guys. I know, I know, I know, I know. You are asking me this question. How do we calculate? No, it's very really simple. You, you calculate a bottle of uh, wine. It's very simple. And how do we do it for a glass of wine now? It looks as simple as it is, guys. Let's keep the number aside. Let's take an uh, example, right? What is an average serving portion size of wine? 150 ml. Most of your bars are doing it. Most of my bars are doing it, right? Let's calculate. How do we calculate, right? On average, for every bottle of wine, you get five glasses of wine. So, cost per glass is equal to cost of wine bottle divided by number of glasses. You get it, right? It is 60 dirhams, which was the cost of object of negotio, divided by five glasses of wine, we get 12 dirhams as a cost per glass. Now, how do we calculate beverage percentage for this? How do you calculate beverage cost for this? It's also very simple, guys, right? Beverage cost percentage is equal to cost percentage, so the cost of the wine glass, which is 12 dirhams, selling price would be 55 dirhams, in multiple 100, I get 21.8% as a beverage cost. Clear? If it is not clear, guys, let me tell you, I'll take, I'll give you one more example out there here. Let's erase this all. Let's give an, uh, another example here, right? What is a cost percentage? Cost price divided by selling price into 100. Why am I repeating it again and again? Yes, I did not like mathematics either. I was not a great student of mathematics either. But the uh, only thing which I understood and understood better is 30, 60, 90, and 750. I understood that logic very better. I, I love those numbers. Yes. And soon as I started developing, I learned uh, to appreciate a sound part for ml, 15 ml, 45 ml. Then I learned what is jigger, what is a measure. <laughs> yes, it is not simple. Yes, it is simple as that it is. Yes, guys, let's just take an example over here. Let's calculate the beverage cost for a full bottle. Oh, uh, good, wait a minute. Okay, if I do a full bottle, how do I calculate the beverage cost for a shot of whiskey? How do I calculate now? You give an example of wine bottle, that's fair enough. You give an example of uh, wine by glass, that is beautiful. But how do we calculate the average cost for shot? It's simple as it is, guys. Beverage cost for shot is equal to cost of the bottle divided by number of shots you are serving. Just assume that this is a bottle of 75 cl, that is my that got. 715 milliliter. In 750 milliliter, as you are a bartender, you should be already knowing that we serve around 25 shots in every bottle, right? Uh, let's assume that the cost of this beautiful Johnny of Black Label bottle is around 280 AED divided by 25 shots, which gives us 11.2 AED for every single shot we are serving, right? Cost price divided by cost of the bottle divided by number of shots 
will give you cost per shots. Cost for every 30 milliliter, I mean to say. Right, let's go ahead. Call beverage cost percentage. What is beverage cost percentage? Why do we calculate it? That's we spoke about numbers are very important. It's very important for us to understand how much are we selling it at. If we get 11.2 AED and I want to sell it at 50 films for a short journey of black level on the rocks, why not with a splash of water or a neat or make it Johnny Highball? Make it two, double. But if you're 100, then we get 22.8 as a average cost. Guys, these numbers are assumption numbers. These numbers are only for calculating. Don't hold me responsible. Disclaimer was supposed to be made. But don't hold me responsible for any price changes. This is just for calculation. The numbers are just for calculation and for us to understand it better. Right. Let's go ahead and start understanding. Right. What do we understand now? Well, we go ahead. We understood the cost percentage. How do we calculate for every single cost? Yes. And in next the program, in the next episode, we will be talking about uh, loads of things. Right. You may ask me, okay, how do I calculate for every single ingredient now? How is that beverage cost going to happen? How do I calculate it better? How do I do it better? But let me tell you this, guys. Right. It's very important for us to understand one step at a time, right? I don't want to fill your brains with those numbers. Yes, I understand numbers are very boring, but it is also very important when we know our bank balance now. Why numbers are very important, <laughs> right? So I don't want to be harsh on you guys. It is a fact. It is a hidden truth, and it is the bitter truth. One of the best amazing bitters of the world. Yes, we're going to go ahead as our understanding. How can we calculate it better? How do we calculate every single cocktail? What is the format we use and stuff like that in the next episode? But this episode, we will talk about how do you calculate the overall beverage cost of your bar. Hey guys, as you already know, how do we calculate the beverage cost for every single item on the previous slide? And we will talk about how do we calculate the total beverage cost percentage of your bar menu? What is the total beverage cost? How do we calculate it? It is very, very simple. No nuclear science over here. Uh, you may be asking me, they're asking this question, hey Guru, should I go back uh, uh, into the previous slide of yours and also <coughs> start uh, calculating the individual cost of every single item? Don't do that. Wait a minute. It's a simple formula. Total beverage cost percentage is equal to total beverage cost divided by the total cost of your beverage, right? Total cost of your beverages divided by total revenue what you have made. The total beverage sale what you have made multiplied to 100. That is your total beverage cost percentage. What is total beverage cost? It's again very simple. Guys. How do you calculate it? It's opening inventory plus purchases minus closing inventory divided by total beverage revenue multiplied to 100. That is your beverage cost. What is this opening inventory as soon as this pandemic situation gets over? I'm just praying God this is just over. As soon as this gets over, we go back to our bars, take the opening inventory, and we add all those purchases what we have made for the entire month and add them together. And we take one more close uh, one more closing inventory, one more inventory at the end of this month, uh, subtract them with the opening plus purchases divided by total beverage revenue, which I will pray that it will be in millions. It should be in millions. Multiplied to 100, that's your beverage cost. Sometimes the closing inventory value is all, sometimes there are some possibilities. Nobody is perfect in this world, right? Uh, nothing is perfect, nothing is permanent as well. So sometimes the closing inventory may be greater than your opening and purchases. So what do we do? We may get negative uh, uh, numericals, right? So it's simple, guys. Again, swap it. It's simple as it is. Closing inventory minus opening inventory plus purchases divided by total beverage revenue into 100. You've got to know that. That's why we use this formula. And once we get the derivative, those percentage are known as beverage cost percentage of your entire bar. Hey guys, with loads of formulas over there, that's a very, very basic formula that I shared with you. The total beverage revenue is equal to total beverage cost divided by total revenue what we have generated by selling those beverages 
multiplying to 100 is what the cost of your beverages, beverage cost percentage is all about. <coughs> so, for, under, for us to understand it better, I know we all need an example. Let us assume, this is an imaginary assumption number. Let's assume that opening inventory cost is around 750 dirhams. How do we calculate it? It's the opening inventory value. Opening inventory. When you go out there to your bar, this pandemic situation, that's your opening inventory. That's around 750 dirhams. And you have purchased about 500 dirhams from African Eastern. And your ending inventory of that particular pair, whether it's a week, whether it's a day or a month, your closing inventory you have taken is around 650 dirhams. That's a value I'm speaking about, guys, not about the number of cases I'm speaking about. The value of the inventory here, the value of the liquid you have purchased from African Eastern, the value of the inventory which you have ended, the ending, the closing inventory, and what is important, the total beverage revenue sale, what you have made. What is the formula again? Uh, the total beverage cost divided by total beverage revenue. Uh, multiplied to 100 is the beverage cost percentage. So, the cost of beverages here is 750 dirhams plus 580, which is our purchases, minus 650 AD, which is our closing inventory, is equal to 680 is our cost of beverages, what we have sold. So, total beverage cost percentage is equal to total beverage cost divided by total the beverage revenue, nothing but total beverage sale, multiplying to 100. That's what we are going to get. This beautiful magical number, total beverage cost percentage is equal to 600 grams divided by 1,000 grams, multiplying to 100. That is 31.57 percentage is the beverage cost for that particular period. Where is the day? All right, our that's how we calculate the total beverage cost person. Hey guys, I think you all guys are all set ready with a new energy and a new hope, with a new enthusiasm, with, with all those energy filled numbers. The magics are written on your books and papers. I'm pretty sure that you've got all those formulas right. And if you still have any good doubts, please drop a message on Instagram. Uh, Guru the Student is my Instagram profile name. You can drop in a message or there. I'm more than happy to assist you guys to take you through what your challenges are. This is a basic foundation of those phenology, the first, first and foremost step. In this episode, what we understood is very simple. Why the numbers are very important. How do you break those revenue? What is the revenue happens? Uh, where are those numbers going? Uh, what do you make? You know? Uh, we also understood what is menu engineering. We also understood what are the four pillars of menu engineering. We also learned what is the cost percentage. How do we calculate the cost percentage of every single item on your menu, whether it is bottle or a glass of wine or a shot of German for black label? How do we calculate it? Like we also understood how do we calculate the beverage cost percentage. Guys, I'm telling you, no certificates will going to help you to make some numbers. The numbers will be helping you to make the numbers. These are the numbers which are very, very, very essential for you to succeed in your careers. And I wish you all the best. We'll be back again. Stay tuned. Uh, stay motivated. Your Barbac is going to be back again with a beautiful journey of uh, for you guys to understand how you can take this to the next level. What is the next episode? The next episode is all about classifying your cocktails. How do you classify your cocktail menu, your beverage menu, as stars, horses, puzzles, and dogs? What is this hall? What, is, what are these stars? What are these uh, horses? What are these puzzles? And what are these dogs? I'm going to tell you in detail. And also, uh, when you are calculating this, and also I'll be helping you guys to design your own beverage master list. I'm going to help you there, right? Stay tuned. Here, I would definitely request you to carry your laptop where you have an Excel and also stay tuned on your mobile. We're going to go hand in hand. We're going to make you, uh, make you enlightened. I'm going to guide you guys, right? This is a basic understanding of your beverage cost. This is the basic understanding. When you understand these basics, you will understand what is the world all about. You're going to understand it better. 
you're going to understand it well and you're going to rock and we let's keep walking ahead thank you so much after this the don't forget to follow, follow the facebook page of pad bar school um if you have uh, any questions to me uh drop in a message on uh, my instagram that's guru the student and uh, follow, don't forget to follow the page dubai bartenders club uh, master bartending association we are all striving hard to put all those things uh, at your plate to brush your skills to sharpen your skills stay strong stay healthy stay active stay motivated thank you so much